this is Diane from Teach Pre-K. Um, I've got construction week coming up. I am doing my lesson planning this weekend so I can be all ready to go after this next week changes. So I want to show you um, some of the arts and crafts projects that I do so that maybe you can add some into your lesson plan or give you some good ideas for construction week. Um, there is one giant project that I have done in the past that I don't have here with me um, today because you'll figure out when I tell you what it is. But I always do the letter B for construction week because B is for building. And here we actually made a couple of buildings. So this is like a little city. B is for buildings. And I think one of my aides made this to kind of give the kids ideas. We read a book that uh, is called One Big Building and it kind of just, it goes, I think it goes through the whole alphabet or, yeah. But um, we've got like a skyscraper. This one has all the little people in it. Lots of windows. Um, buildings are like outside by trees. There's people walking by, cars going by. So we just kind of stress that like a city's made from buildings. Our house is a building. B is for building. So that's one project that we do. Um, one project the kids really like to do is we just put out some um, white paint and some blue paper. I have some like real blueprints that I show the kids and we talk about blueprints and how blueprints are the plans for a building. And guys, they're three to five years old. I'm not asking them to make a building, but what I do is I give them some blue paper and some white paint and we just take Legos and we stamp Legos. So you can see when they're using the circle side of the Legos and the back side of the Legos. But yeah, they just, they just stamp. They just stamp all over and this is their little Lego blueprint. So um, they love it. I like it. It's super easy. You don't have to prep anything. The B is for building. I cut out a B. I cut out lots of different shapes for them to make buildings. For this, everyone's got some Legos. The Duplos work the best, as you can see. Um, I think it might be fun to use some smaller Legos this year. I might. But, um, yeah, they have a great time. They can do as many as they want and just stamp away. Another thing that we do is we will do shape houses. So we just cut out a whole bunch of different shapes. I'll show you a couple that we have. Um, this is an old template of mine. It just says my house. You don't even have to have a template. You can just give them a piece of paper. And I love this. One of my aides made this too, but they made a little, you know, tr uh, little flower pot or potted tree there with a circle and um, a trapezoid. And then they made a tree with a diamond. The sun is a circle and yeah. And when the kids are making this, I always tell them like, okay, a house has windows and all the windows in my house aren't square. Some are rectangles, some are circles, some are ovals. So they just get, you know, really creative, putting on the roof, the chimney, things like that. So that's one. Here is another one. I think the roof fell off, but here we've got some layered, even mountains. We live in a place with mountains, but it's pretty basic. I do think the triangle roof is missing, but it's pretty basic. They can make them as, you know, intricate as they want. They always try to do a little cat or dog in the window after they see this, because that's so cute, a little cat in the window. Okay, another thing I work on during construction week is for math, I work on ordinals, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. But also, this is kind of a STEM activity. We work on the order of building a building. It has to have a foundation. So we talk about that and like, yeah, the foundation is a big hole, but then the floor goes on it then the walls and on top of the walls go the ceiling and on top of the ceiling goes the roof. So we will step by step make a house with craft sticks and it just looks like, oh, a little house with craft sticks. But we talk about this order. We talk about, okay, we've got to lay our first layer, which is going to be the floor. Second, we are going to put some walls on. So second, we're going to put some walls. 
The third thing we're gonna do is do the ceiling. And then the fourth and last thing we're gonna do is the roof. So once they've got, you know, for second, third, fourth, all laid out here, then they can, you know, use the markers and go crazy and make a, make a cute house. But so this is an arts and crafts activity, but it's also a math activity. So there's a lot going on. This goes home. All they see is there's a house made of craft sticks. This is so much more than a house made of craft sticks. We are teaching the kids so many things. Also, this is a triangle. This is a square. So there's a lot going on in this one very simple zero prep. All you need is glue, paper, and craft sticks. You can use any size craft stick you want. I like these kind of medium ones. The popsicle ones are too tiny. The big jumbo ones are too big for this paper. So this is a great activity. Combines a lot of things. And the whole point in preschool, I only have my kids for two and a half hours a day. I gotta pack everything in. Okay guys, I made up this activity. Um, second year teaching, we had construction week coming on. I had like zero activities to do. And I made up these trucks. I made up like several different trucks. And I cut the shapes. And then I actually added these to um, my construction lesson plan and teachers play teachers. But it was so hard because I hand drew all of them at first. And I drew them on big paper. So I had to figure out a way to put them on smaller paper. But I did it. I figured it all out. And um, there's, I think, five or six truck templates. But of course, this is the cement mixer. And it is a just a blank template. I have all these shapes out on a tray because these shapes are used for all the trucks. So they have to find this, the shapes in my little tray of shapes that fit. So it's a little math matching. We talk about this is a rectangle, even though it's really long and thin, it's a rectangle. How many wheels do you have? What shape are wheels? Etc. Etc. So there's a ton going on in here too. Not only are we matching like shape to like shape, we're talking about the shape. We're talking about the sizes of the shapes, things like that. Um, so that that was the cement truck. This is the dump truck, and you can kind of see like the glue is kind of coming undone. I'll show you a couple of these that don't have the shapes glued on. Ah, oh, in fact, I'll show them to you right this minute. Oh wait. No, I'll show them to you in a second. Okay. This is a really cool truck. This is super cool. And um, I do encourage them to make the little people. It, they're so cute. I have pictures of these. Um, I don't know. They might be on my blog. I don't know. I'll, I'll check and see. And if they are, I'll give you a link. But um, add some, but with the pre-K kids, they really add a lot of detail once they're done with their trucks. The three-year-olds, I mean, oh, it's like matching those shapes can be really difficult for them. But this little excavator, so cool. And like I said, guys, I made these up myself. So if I can make them up myself, you can probably make them up yourself too. Just really basic shapes. So I've got triangles, rectangles, squares, circles, and ovals, the five basic shapes that I really want my kids to know. I've used all of them in these pictures. They're not in every one, but they're all on the tray and they're used in the different trucks. So there's that one. So here's what they look like. I print them on regular printer paper and then I glue them onto construction paper to give them some heft so that when you glue them, they, they stay nice. So yeah, there's that one and here is the dump truck. So I think that's five trucks. I think there's a bulldozer, an excavator, a dump truck, a cement truck. Yeah. If there's another one, I've forgotten and I don't have a template with me. But okay, what I do with those, because they're so cute, they're so cool. The kids love them. I want the parents to see them. I just have this little, you know, truck centering highway, things like that. Watch for truck traffic. I put these up on my bulletin board and surround them with the trucks that the kids make. So cute. It's so amazing. I mean, the kids love them. Um, they're great. Okay, another thing that I like to do that's artsy craftsy is we make a toolbox. And I'm gonna show you one made up because I think that's the easiest way to do it. So here it is. This is Mrs. Lee's toolbox. This is a brown paper sack. 
I punch holes in there and then I just put a pipe cleaner, little chenille stick on there. And I actually learned this from Dr. Jean. She came to our town and um, she talked for like over an hour and this was my takeaway. She's wonderful, but this was like, oh, I gotta do that. So then I just got some tool clip art and the kids just practice with their scissors. I don't want them to cut them out perfect. It's just like cut around them, color them, glue them. Hey, super quick. At the beginning of my movie, I told you there's one project that I don't have um, that I used to do in the past. I don't do it so much anymore because there's just not space down in um, our preschool. We've done a lot of moving with our school with COVID and things like that. So what I would do is have the parents bring boxes in like Amazon boxes, big sturdy cardboard boxes. Um, I'd have lots of boxes, different sizes, and we would wrap them in butcher paper, and then the kids would make buildings out of them. And it would be part of our art show. We would have tables full of their building. Um, in years past, I have um, had like a little architecture reveal where the parents would come in and the kids would have their buildings around the classroom and they would tell their parents about their buildings. Um, when we did them for art show, it was really cute because the kids would make their buildings and then they would tell us what it was. Like it's a donut shop or it's a police station or it's a fire station or it's a birthday party store. And they would tell us a little bit about it and we would type that up and make a little tent card in front of their uh, their box and they really loved it. So that's a fun thing to do. Um, it's a multi-day project. It can take over your whole week. If you do construction for more than one week, it's a great thing to do. I only do it for a week and in fact, it's falling on Martin Luther King Day for the second time. So I have very little time and I don't have time to do it and I don't have the space. So if you've got the space, if you've got the time, do it. The kids will love it and they will love you for it too. So thanks for listening. Sorry, I forgot that before.